Hi guys, Random here, back with a bit more World of Warships. Yes, today you join us in the catchily named VT-22. Hmm. Now I said I wasn't going to do this to myself. However, however, because I love you all, I have done it. I have done it. I'm probably going to regret it, but yeah, there we go. I've spent all my credits. I have. And I've bought this. This is the tier 5 German destroyer. Um, yeah, it's got an Atlantic bow on it, which is kind of nice. Makes it look more like a ship cutting through those big waves, but uh, it's very, very square, isn't it? Look at it. It's like a container ship from the front. Um, hmm, interesting. Well, the new patch has landed, so I figured maybe the Germans wouldn't be that bad now. Maybe the bloom range wouldn't be as terrible. So let's just check that. We've got 9.8 kilometer firing range and the concealment goes out to 9.8 when you fire your guns. So the Germans have had a major buff with this 0.6.3 patch. And I thought maybe it was time to give them another shot. I'll probably regret it as I say. Anyway, let's run through the numbers. Survivability 9400, tier 5, it's alright, it's not great, but uh, it's okay. Main battery, still these tiny little 105mm guns, but you've got four of them. Um, so you've got, uh, obviously, that one it likes to show you twice. There's two at the rear, and one amidships, one at the front. So, the angles aren't going to be brilliant. Um, damage wise, maximum HE 1200. Huh, terrible. Uh, maximum AP 2200. You've only got a 5% fire chance, and you are not going to be uh, penetrating a great deal with those tiny guns. So, hmm, hmm. A 9.8 range. Um, I have upgraded torpedoes on this, but nothing else. Uh, you can get that firing rage out 10.7 so yeah, it's still not great but uh, it's it's doable standard torps come with uh, 7 kilometer range and 61 knots uh, upgraded 7.5 and 62 knots two triple launchers uh, mounted amidships so you can get them out of either side uh, 533 mil torps giving you uh, maximum damage of 13,700 um, yeah, it's not terrible, not terrible, 68 second reload, uh, that is with the flags, so, mm. and yeah, 18, tier 5 destroyer, an 18 rating isn't terrible, um, it's not going to be very effective, but uh, 2 kilometer there, 2 kilometer there, 3.5 kilometer there, uh, okay, and your uh, main guns are obviously dual purpose and shoot at 4.5. That's pretty good. Uh, so, yeah, not terrible. Uh, maximum speed with a speed flag is 36.2. I believe it's 35 without. Uh, something around there, anyway. Um, turning circle radius, uh, 540 meters. So, it's not bad. Rudder shift is pretty poor at 4.1. But, um, yeah, reasonably maneuverable. And uh, concealment wise, 6.8 with a camo, 7 without. 3.4, 3.5 by air. Hmm, so let's take her into a co op. Let's see how she does. Uh, the captain is not trained on this boat yet. He is not trained on this boat. So, uh, yeah, he might not be great. Um, but we'll, we'll see how we get on. We'll see how we get on. Okay, interesting. Bottom tier, there is an aircraft carrier. Boo. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we do. Interesting, we're the only destroyer. So, uh, we haven't got to worry about being spotted by another boat, just the planes. So, if we figure out where the planes are, and then we head the other way, <clears throat> we might be able to get some sneaky torps in. Possibly. Now we could YOLO down the middle, couldn't we? Can we YOLO? Yeah, why not? 
Why not? Good luck, everyone. We'll see, we'll see how we do. So let's head for the middle of the map. Uh, we are two brothers stand about. Yeah, I'm a little worried about uh, what his his range is going to be like. Now with this, you do not have the uh, forward-facing torpedoes. They are only from tier two to tier four, which is a real shame because they were brilliant. You could do uh, jousting runs with them. But, uh, yeah, the minute you touch the rudder on this, wow, does the speed drop. Drops like crazy. We, we do have the old uh, Belfast there. In all its pinkishness. At least we know it hasn't got torps, so uh, we should be fine there. Oh, we've got some planes coming out of the Ranger now, that's good. Over the middle, if you would, please, so we can uh, spot stuff. So we need to, uh, ideally, be ready to turn around. We are spotted here. Now we are not spotted. Okay, that's not terrible. So we've got... We've got boats coming through. Okay. Do you know what? I'm going to YOLO it down here because it looks like they're all going around that side. That's not terrible. Now we've got the Aoba there, and it looks like the Aoba might be coming in. Possibly. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll bide our time. That's fine. So, let's, let's get ready, because the Aoba is there. And we should be able to, uh, we should be able to get a good shot on the Aoba. We should also be able to smoke, um, to hide ourselves once we've got a bearing on the Aoba. There she is. Okay, so let's let's do that. Let's smoke. smoke generator start. And let's work with the guns, shall we? And we'll see how lucky we are with the guns. Now we should be fairly lucky with those torpedoes. We had them on a reasonably wide spread, so Yeah, it's terrible. Take half her health off. Got to bear in mind we are within danger range here, so there we go, we are detected. So let's make ourselves nice and thin. We are burning her down, which is obviously good. Got 24 seconds to go on the, uh, the reload for the uh, torpedoes, so we're not going to torp her to death. We could well. Could well burn her down there. There we go, look. Okay, I can live with that. So let's uh, get back into uh, some HE in the barrels. And we'll push forwards. And we do have the bomber there coming in. You see him? Oh dear, oh, my smoke just ran out. So let's highlight him. Let's go straight onto him, present as small a target as possible. Probably going to drop him. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Not a problem. Oh, we shot a plane down. Look. It's exciting. <clears throat> okay. So let's figure out where the uh, the enemy carrier is. Torpedoes are back up. We've got uh, seven seconds before our gun is. That's cool because there's nothing here to shoot at, so <clears throat> that's fine. So let's uh, let's get going. Now, we have got something coming this way by the look of things. Now we have the uh, torpedo boat uh, bombers there. 
Here's the uh, the Ranger. Now, those torpedo bombers are most likely going to be coming for us. Yeah. So if we whack on the brakes and turn, we should be okay. And there we have a Koenig, who uh, obviously is wishing to become my next victim. So we shall let him do that. And then we'll get the guns on him. Uh, oh, come on, Koenig. Die, please. Please to die. Thank you. Uh, we should be able to get some guns on it, really. We are on fire. Let's repair that. It'd be really nice if we could get a fire on him, because he will burn down. No. Okay. That low fire chance is a bit of a curse, by the look of things. Um, which is a bit of a shame. I mean, that Koenig is burning down now. But 60,000 damage, first game out, unskilled captain. That's not terrible. You know, I'm not going to get too upset about that. Uh, we've only got this Koenig and the carrier to go, so yeah, let's, uh, let's watch the end of the game. Watch the Koenig die. This makes me happy. Good, right. So let's go over here and let's see who's going to be first to shoot at the Ranger. Uh, who do we think? We've got the Mamansk is reasonably close. I don't know if his range will reach quite that far, but uh, he's the closest to the bunch and he's probably got to, oh, the Nisenhaus on. There we go, look. Yeah. Nisenhaus is on. The Mamansk has got the reach, but uh, these look like they might not be too good for the Mamansky's health. Well, I don't know where they're going. Are they flying around maybe go to the other side? No, they're going to a different ship completely. Well, there you go, AI logic, right. Uh, so, oop. let's watch the uh, the Ranger, Ranger die in the, uh, the best possible way. Uh, so let's zoom down here. Yeah, he's been bombed. Oh, he's put the fire out. So uh, he's going to die at shells. Possibly the Mamants because of the reload. No, Nisenhaus got this if he hits him. There we go. Good job, Nisenhaus. Right. Okay, let's see where we came. 59,905 damage, 46 target hits, 6 torpedo hits. Shot a plane down. Yay! One fire, two floods, uh, 46,678 credits, 471 XP, and 24 free XP. And we got an Elite Commander mission, which uh, is good. Ships Tier 5, win a battle. So that will give me some sort of training boost. Came third on there. Now, considering that's the first time I've taken that out, and I'm only four points behind the second place, that's pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, Koenig, Alba. Did, did, yep. Ranga, yep. Shot his plane down. <laughs> One bomber. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that. I don't think the boat performs particularly well. Uh, so yeah, we got um, some form of bonusy thing going on. Maybe it was a a cash prize. We'll see in a minute. Um. So yeah, 1674 Commander XP there because we had the Dragon Flag on um, just to try and skill the guy up a bit, you know, want to get him uh, skilled up. Oh, what did we get? 30,000, 30,000 what? 30,000 Elite Commander XP. Well, there we go. Um, does that mean I can do something with him now? Oh yeah. Yeah, look. Okay. Uh, so, special, 3,000. Right, so, can I do that? Oh no, that's what it costs to redistribute. Uh, okay. Uh, can I accelerate his training with, with Commander XP? 
Maybe. I don't know. How do you do this? Does anybody know? Um, hmm. Okay. I don't know. Maybe we hit the plus. Uh, oh, right, okay. So, before retraining is that, after retraining is that, so I can use that and retrain him. There we go, so he's back up and running now. Well, that's awesome, isn't it? That, yeah. I can probably bump him up to the next thing, can't I? Yeah, I can. Okay, that's interesting. Um, so I'll have to have a look into that because free XP is great, especially on uh, some of your captains that need it, like the uh, the Russian ones here with the higher tier ships that uh, kind of got um, left behind. Really, that's my mince captain, isn't it? Yeah, so we'll stick him in there. So he's only got eight points at tier eight. Uh, same with the Ognavoy guy. So it'd be lovely if I can bump them up a bit. Hmm. I suggest you do the same. I suggest you do the same. So there we go, guys. Um, quite looking forward to uh, the weekend because uh, this is um, suddenly in the lineup, but you can't do anything with it at the moment. Uh, it says one does not simply enter battle in a submarine. Um, so yeah, I'm quite looking forward to uh, taking that out over the weekend because I have a feeling it's the uh, the April Fools gag, and for some reason it's in the lineup already. Um, which is a shame because I've seen it now and I'd really like to take it out and try it. <laughs> as would we all eh as would we all well thank you ever so much for watching guys do hope you enjoyed if you did you know where the like button is um, if you've got a comment you want to let me know how best to play those little German DDs then uh, don't forget the comments section is there because I could really 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 use the help yeah I called it the VT22 but it's actually a tier 5 so it's just a T22 which I thought was a tank Hmm, confusing. Anyway, that's more than enough from me for now. So it just remains for me to say, it's Captain Random, signing off. Take care, guys, and I'll see you again in the next one.